This week on the CNET Tech Review, how to use Amazon Cloud Player on your Android phone, how to turn on parental controls on your iPhone, how to get free ebooks from the library. Boy, that sure is a lot of how to's. All that and the Samsung Series 9 are coming up right now. Hi everyone, I'm Molly Wood and welcome to the CNET Tech Review where we collect our hottest videos of the week and tell you what's good and what's bad in the world of tech, plus offer some unique tech wisdom in the form of the bottom line. Let's get started with the good. In really good news for those of you who, like me, have digital music stored on three different computers, two old iPods and an Android phone, Amazon launched a new cloud service for storing all your tunes and then downloading them anywhere, which is awesome. And here's how you use it on your Android phone. Hi, I'm Sharon Backman for CNET.com, here to show you how to use Amazon's Cloud Player with your Android device. Sorry, iPhone users, you're going to have to sit this one out. Amazon didn't release an app for you. First, set up an account on Amazon.com and upload music to your account. It's pretty straightforward. You can upload almost any MP3 or AAC files, so music you've downloaded from iTunes, Amazon, or other stores will work. You can also use music ripped from CDs, no matter where you got them. Amazon gives you the first 5 gigabytes of storage free. If you want to get more storage, through the end of the year you can purchase an album from Amazon and they'll bump you up to a total of 20 gigabytes for free, for a year after your purchase. Now you're ready to stream your music library to your Android device. Download the free Amazon MP3 app from the Android market. Once it's there, go to Cloud Drive Music and sign in with your Amazon account. Now you're ready to play music you've uploaded to your cloud. Just remember that your device must be connected to your network or Wi-Fi to stream music. If you know you'll be off the grid but still want to access your music, the app lets you download tracks directly onto your device. Hit the green arrow next to any playlist, artist, or album to download multiple titles or long press any song to download a single track. The player also lets you create and modify new playlists and access music stored locally on your device. You can also use this app to purchase new music from the Amazon MP3 store and save it to your cloud drive for safekeeping. Since Amazon wants you to purchase music from them, purchases made from the store won't be counted against your storage capacity. For now, Amazon Cloud Player is only available for Android devices, Macs, and Windows computers. Expect to see more developments around cloud storage, though. Apple and Google should be jumping on the bandwagon anytime now. For CNET.com, I'm Sharon Vackman, and I'll see you on the interwebs. I love that service so much. All right, now speaking of Android, there are so many new phones and tablets out there that you're probably looking for ways to get the most out of your new devices. Well, here's Antoine Goodwin with two tasty tricks. Most Android users will get their app fixed from the Android market, but there are plenty of very cool apps to be found outside of the market from small developers and more recently from third-party sources such as Amazon's App Store for Android. Now out of the box, your Android phone will not allow you to make use of these third-party apps, flagging them as untrusted sources. But come on, you can trust Amazon, right? I'm Antoine Goodwin with CNET.com and I'm going to show you how to enable third-party app installation on your Android phone. Now enabling this function is actually quite simple. Just pop into your Android phone setting menu, look for the applications option. Tap that and then look for an option that says unknown sources. It's usually the first one here, but the placement can vary from phone to phone. Check that box, then back out of the menu and voila, you'll be able to install third-party apps from anywhere. Now the apps themselves are usually transported as .apk files and can be found all over the place. The easiest place will be from Amazon's App Store, but don't let your hunt stop there. Oftentimes, app makers will make beta versions of their app, such as the Swipe Alternative Keyboard, available on their website, which can be downloaded and installed directly from your phone's browser. Other places to look include Android hacking communities, such as the XDA Developer Forums or the Droid Forums, where devs are always cooking up neat little applets that you can download to your phone's SD card and then access and install using a file manager, such as Astro. 
Unfortunately, access to the third-party app installation function is at the discretion of your wireless service provider. So, for example, users of AT&T-powered Android phones such as the Atrix 4G and Samsung Captivate are unable to use or even see this option without first rooting their phone and possibly getting your hands dirty with some command line action. Well, there you have it. You're now free to get your apps from wherever you darn well please. Be sure to check out the Android Atlas blog for even more Android tips and tricks and CNET TV for even more how-to videos. This has been Antoine Go with CNET.com showing you how it's done. We've all been there. You're trying to track down a group of friends in a crowded park on a Sunday afternoon, but telling them that you're standing near that one tree and a pack of hipsters isn't very useful when there are dozens of trees and literally hundreds of hipsters. I'm going to show you a quick way to share your location with your friends using little more than your Android phone. The easiest way is to use a location sharing service like Google Latitude to keep your pals constantly updated of your whereabouts. However, services like this also require that your friends sign up, which they may not be too keen on doing or may not even have access to. So here's how you send your location to your friends using little more than Google Maps and a well-placed text message or email. Pop over into the Google Maps app and make sure that your phone has an accurate fix on your location by tapping the Find Me button in the upper right corner of the screen. If you see a gigantic blue circle surrounding your location, then you only have an approximate fix and you'll need to wait a few seconds for your GPS accuracy to improve or move to a spot where you have a better view of the sky. Once you're satisfied with your positioning accuracy, tap on the blue arrow